I am Dr. Kiran, specialized in treating diabetes, preventing diabetes, managing diabetes. So, if you ask me what is diabetes, to put it in a nutshell, diabetes is nothing but just elevated blood sugars due to insufficient or inefficient insulin release from the pancreas. Now, what happens when the blood sugars are higher side? When the blood sugars are higher side, blood which is supposed to be very thin like water becomes thick like oil or a syrup. So, it becomes very difficult for the heart to pump the blood and it becomes difficult for the kidneys to filter the blood and for the pipeline, the blood vessels to carry the blood. There is no problem initially, but over a period of time, over years together, this may lead to some trouble to these organs. So, we need to put the levels under control say fasting below 100 and postprandial below 140 milligrams per deciliter. See earlier days this problem used to come for aged people above 50 years but nowadays commonly we are seeing in our practice almost we are not able to con confine to a particular age group 25 years, 30, 35 this is the common age group now people are getting detected with diabetes newly and coming for treatment and many of them think that diabetes is just a problem that can be treated with only tablets or insulin but there are a lot of other things that we also expect from the patients they need to follow their exercise properly uh, their, to limit their diet and avoid some high calorie food avoid high protein food like non-vegetarian and avoid uh, high spicy foods all these things will definitely give add-on benefits to the treatment of what the doctor is trying to do. And many of the times, I see the dosage of the medicines coming down when the people follow my advisors, like as I said now. And uh, children are also prone for diabetes. It's, we are almost facing the danger, the epidemic. Teenagers are getting type 2 diabetes now. Forget about the type 1 diabetes, which is actually fit for the children. But type 2 diabetes, which is actually a preventable disorder, if one wants to. So we should definitely understand this and try to prevent it or even postpone it or whatever possible. But diabetes should be kept under control. Pregnant women are having higher sugar values. Actually, during pregnancy, a woman has less sugars than usual. Less sugars means, so usually if they have sugars fasting of 80 and postprandial of 110, then 10-20 milligrams lesser is what is normal during pregnancy. So in pregnancy, if the sugars are even little elevated, the blood sugars can cross the placental barrier and reach the fetus. After 11 weeks, fetus pancreas is already well formed, which can sense the high sugars and start producing more insulin to control these blood sugars. So the the root cause of the diabetes sometimes is even starting in the fetus itself after 11 weeks so if we want to prevent young young people getting type 2 diabetes then the mother blood sugars should be very normal and uh, we need to control them intensively with insulin the best way is with is with insulin so put them under very strict control say fasting of 80 and postprandial of 120 should be the blood sugars for uh, pregnant women if they have gestational diabetes mellitus but diabetes is not a fact of fear it is a fact of proactiveness so you have diabetes control it be happy forget about the problems due to diabetes there is no point in just fearing diabetes you have to fight with it fight with it and win over it that's the challenge and be happy.